Everyone knows the work of Don Knotts. He rose to fame as the lovable but inept Deputy Barney Fife, where his animated comic timing made him the perfect sidekick for Andy's small-town sheriff in The Andy Griffith Show. Fans will agree that no other actor could have played the character of Barney, but what few know is that, if not for Don Knotts, the character would not exist at all. So how did Don Knotts see an opportunity that even Andy and the other creators of the show were unable to? Well, there is more to the story. Though Don was a popular performer on The Steve Allen Show, it was really the Andy Griffith show that cemented his legacy. From there, he went on to star and act in a number of movies and other television shows, and even played another iconic television character, Mr. Furley, on Three's Company. But, in 1959, Don had a problem. He was about to be unemployed. He was still working on the Steve Allen show, but it was scheduled to be canceled. To make matters worse, he had no prospects. But one night... Don and his wife Catherine were playing bridge with Don's friend Patrick and his wife Marjorie when it happened. Patrick was also a performer on the Steve Allen show and was soon to be out of a job. But he did have a prospect. He had already auditioned for the Danny Thomas show, which is why at 9 o'clock he abruptly ended the game so that he could watch the show. The episode involved Danny's character having a run-in with a small-town sheriff, a sheriff named Andy Taylor. Don and his wife immediately recognized Andy as Andy Griffith, an old friend of Don's that they had not seen in a while. But while everyone else was watching the show, Don saw something that changed his life. Don and Andy had met while performing in the play No Time for Sergeants and immediately hit it off. They even shared similar backgrounds, both coming from small towns. When Don learned that the show was serving as a pilot for a new television series starring Andy, he felt that something was missing, and there was an opportunity to be had. Don had lost touch with Andy and had not seen him in five years. But the next day he got on the phone and called him in New York where Andy was working on a revival of Dusty Rides Again and asked him a simple question. Don't you think Sheriff Andy Taylor ought to have a deputy? Andy only had to think about it for a moment before he replied, That's a hell of an idea, and then instructed Don to get in touch with a producer, Sheldon Leonard. A week after seeing the pilot, Don found himself in Leonard's office. There was no formal audition. The two men talked over the idea, and Don described his version of the character as a grown man with the mentality of a nine-year-old boy. Surprising as it is now, Leonard was unimpressed and thought about using Don in just one episode. Three weeks later, Don had filmed the last of the Steve Allen shows and was beginning to get anxious. It was then that his agent, Sherwin Bash, called and told him that he had the job. Don went on to star as Barney Fife for five seasons and won five Emmys, at which time he left to pursue a career in film. There was a lot of speculation as to why Don left, but it seems to come down to the fact that Andy had only planned the show to run for five years. Once the end of that time frame was looming, Don started looking for other opportunities and was able to secure a movie deal with Universal Pictures. Though Andy had decided to continue the show after that deal was struck, leaving might have been the best thing for Don. The long hours of filming a television show can be tiring, and the character of Barney took up a lot of energy. In spite of rumors to the contrary, there was no bad blood between the two over Don's decision to leave, and they remained friends for the rest of their lives. Don returned to the show a number of times to revive his character of Barney, who was now a detective living in Raleigh. They did television specials together, a Mayberry reunion movie, and Don even appeared on Griffith's show, Matlock. In later years, they spoke on the phone often, and Andy had even proposed that the two of them go out on the road together, but it never happened. On February 24, 2006, after suffering from cancer, Don Knotts died, but not before Andy was able to come by and tell him he loved him. For all that Don Knotts accomplished in his life, from starting out as a small-town ventriloquist, to entertaining the troops in World War II, to becoming a revered comic figure, he will always be remembered for the role of Barney Fife, a role that would not exist if not for him. Now, for those of you wondering what became of Don's friend Patrick, he made out just fine. Many may remember Patrick, or Pat Harrington Jr., as he is professionally known, as another iconic television character. Dwayne Schneider, the building superintendent on One Day at a Time. Thanks for watching, and come back to see more videos about movies, television, books, comics, and anything else we might find interesting.